Hey guys, AV with here, and today I am making for you an awesome meal prep. I am going to be prepping up all this food. I have so much food here. You guys loved the last episode where I just showed you what I ate in real life and all the food I'll be eating for the whole week. So we're doing that again today. So let's get started. On today's menu, we have a lot of cool things. We have rice and beans, the classic Ooh. step that and rice and beans. We're going to do up a fried tofu, which you guys have seen before, but we're going to do it with some beans and rice and coconut aminos. And we're going to do a roast vegetable medley. We have just so much over vegetables from Thanksgiving and fall season. A lot of veggies. So we're going to do some roast veggies there. And then today I'm not going to be doing any macros. If you guys have been following my journey, I did a 12 week weight cut, lost 20 pounds. I mean, Woo. I've kept it off. That was like two months ago, I guess. Oh yeah. Look and uh, looking good, feeling good. How I did that was with an app called Lifesum. And we want to thank Lifesum for getting behind us on supporting us on this video and my whole journey. And stay tuned, because towards the end, I'm going to tell you all about the app and how you can get your health on track in 2019. So for now, we're going to put the oven on and get cooking with all the food. Woo. We're going to get the rice onto the pot. Onto the pot. Yeah. We're going to actually rinse the rice. Cool tip when meal prepping is buy giant bags. Um, save yourself a ton of money buying in bulk. All the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box below. Four cups of rice. We're going to rinse it. Oh. Oh. Our ring's gone. Where's your ring? It's in the rice. Seriously? Yeah, because I lost 20 pounds. Okay, now I have to get the, the colander out. <laughs> okay, fruit bowl is now going to turn into uh, The fruit bowl is now back to being back, the colander. Back to being the colander. There it is. Hey, we got the ring back. Hey, hey, hey. It's back. <laughs> now you are going to use the colander. Oh man, it's a wreck. <laughs> Rip, this is horrible. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Follow my instructions. Ready? Here's the instructions. Wash the rice, rinse the rice. Put it through a colander, then put it back into the pot, then add eight cups of water to the four cups of rice. Moving on. Okay. And by the way, the time is 4.20. 4.22 now, but 4.20 when I started. Okay, we'll go there with 4.20. Go. And we're back. This cut scene, I need to sort this out and we'll okay. come back. Put your pot on the stove, lid on, turn on the high, and then bring it to the boil, then turn it to low. So here we have some leeks today, we have some leeks. It's very important to wash these leeks very well. I'm gonna show you how to do that because there's a lot of dirt in here. Let's look for the end of the green bits and kind of cut there. You can use this for stock or something like that, but mm. not necessary right now. We're gonna slice it down the middle. And then you're gonna see there's, some, there's gonna be dirt in here. Yeah, you can see it's a little it's dirty. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Generally, it can, it can be quite bad. So we're gonna make sure that we wash this Veggies that we're going to use today are broccoli, sweet potato, we have our orange sweet potato and a purple sweet potato Ooh. and some leeks. So we are going to start with the broccoli. We're going to use the whole broccoli. I, you can totally use the ends. I'm just going to cut off the very end uh, and then I can just slice these up like this and you can totally eat these. It's like a green carrot and then we're just going to uh, hack out these, uh, what do you call them? Hacking away at the broccoli. Florets. Onto the tray we go. Got some parchment paper over there. Parchment paper's already down. And then we're just going to, what's called a mirepoix. It's a rough dice onto the tray. So it's coming together easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the leeks on this tray um, because they're going to kind of go together. So this, you're just going to, again, you can just roughly dice it, chuck it on top of the broccoli. I feel like cutting stresses people out, but you can just do it super rough and, you know, not yeah, worry about it. Yeah, not worry about it. Top, tail. We're just going to cut this in half. Half again, half again, oven's ready, <laughs> half again. I love that our oven sings. Half again, okay. Do, 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 do. And then you can just, cubes, right? You want to be able to cook fast. The second tray, beautiful. beautiful. I feel like leeks are one of those vegetables that nobody really knows about. So underrated. I'm curious, tell us in the comments section below. Do you like leeks? Have you ever tried leeks? Do you even know that leeks exist? Just curious. Tell us. Just curious. Um, there's some purple ones. All the orange ones, yeah, it's mm. a purple one. Actually, it's what? <gasps> Surprises. Oh, wow. That's different. <laughs> Looks like an eggplant. So, you guys, you can use any kind of, you can use real, uh, regular potato, sweet potato, uh, yam. This could even be a yam or could be something like that. It doesn't really matter. They're all kind of the same. They all do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Six potatoes and... Um, yeah, so, we left two out. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of garlic. Smash it. Smash it, add a bit of garlic on here. Just throw it in a hole. Well, uh, Steph loves the roast garlic, don't you, Steffi? Oh, roast garlic is the best. Mm-hmm, Steffi's favorite. Mm. She's, she's Italian. 
Italian. <laughs> we have a bit of rosemary left over from Thanksgiving. So we're just going to strip that. You can use whatever herb you have or you can use dried any spices. Any fresh herb, any dry herb. This is left over from Thanksgiving. Whatever you want. And then this is optional, but you can add chickpeas. We've got a couple cans of chickpeas. We're just going to rinse and drain these and add them onto the trays. Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> Chickpea got away. We're going to add olive oil. A little two finger trick, like I told you last week. A little olive oil, just a little drizzle. A little bit of olive oil. I think that trick is in the Thanksgiving video. A little bit of uh, red sauce, just like a little bit. Like maybe a quarter cup on each tray. And we're gonna add salt, pepper, and some paprika. Paprika? Paprika, yes. Or whatever seasoning you like. Whatever seasoning you like. I'm gonna put a lot on the uh, potatoes. A little mm -hmm. bit on the potatoes. Then it's gonna give it a little mixy mix. <laughs> Get in there, mixy mix it up. Move it all around, give it a little massage. Mm -hmm. Mix it all together. That's that one done. Oh, hello. <laughs> and same with the potatoes. Mixy mix. Wait a minute. Check my rice. Rice is almost coming to the boil. So guys, like I mentioned before, we love Lafsum. Lafsum, I used it for 12 weeks. I lost 20 pounds using their app. And, and I really recommend it to you guys as a way to be accountable and track your macros and keep you on track of your fitness goal. What the app dubs, dubs? dubs? <laughs> what the app does, it uh, allows you to track your macros and it gives you a goal. So people ask how do we count our macros. The app does it all for you. You put in your height, you put in your weight, you put in your goal, and it gives you a, de a recommended daily goal of calories and then it teaches you how to track all your food that you eat, like our recipes or any food that you consume. And then you track all your calories and then you have your goals and everything and then by the end of the 12 weeks you're shredded. <laughs> That's how it works. Grab the app, it's free to download. Try it out and if you love it, get the uh, code for the premium service, which I use for 12 weeks and it really helped me a bunch and I know you guys are going to love it. So, and you go do it. 30% off. And I'm sure you can check the comments because there's going to be a bunch of people saying that we love it and they've already used it and so many of you have already used it and I'll put it on the screen, everyone's um, comments that saying that they love it as well and lost pounds and having good times or whatever. And if you click the link in the description box below, you can get 30% off the premium version by using the code SAA. Seth and Adam, 30. S S A 30. No. S A A 30. <laughs> Just check the link in the description ah, box. Ah, <laughs> links below. Back to the cooking. So now I'm gonna start frying up the tofu and getting that ready. And you can put it on paper towel and just you roll it up and you just let it pat it dry. Now I'll squeeze the water out of the tofu, I'm just going to divide them into fours. Add them into the long chunks of tofu, but you can totally cut these into cubes if you'd like. Well see, I love the long the long uh, strips of tofu because you want it crispy, right? Sure. This is how you do it crispy. I'm going to show you how to make crispy tofu. Mm. Hashtag crispy tofu. <laughs> Dash all the well. Grab the tofu, swirl it around on the bottom of the pan. And the reason why I do it flat like this is because it has a full surface area which is going to make all this golden. So I'm going to leave it in the pan, the pan still needs to come to the heat. It's going to take at least four minutes or so to get this going. I'm going to add salt and pepper and let that sit. And while that is cooking, I'm going to get started on the beans. So I'm just going to uh, go through and take all the tails off. You want your little little cut, just top and tail these and um, prepare these. And then we will be back once these are all done. When the rice starts boiling, it's turned down to low, lid on. Let it sit. Done very soon. So I'm going to put the tofu. Hey. Mm, beautiful. So the first batch might not be the, the goldenest. As the pan heats up, it's going to get more golden. But you can tell it's pretty golden. Goldenest? Yeah, golden. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll go start cooking the beans over here. Add olive oil. Heat on. So I'm just going to give the beans a quick cut because I'm going to add, it, I'm going to add them with the uh, frozen peas here. So I'm just going to keep them like relative size. A quick dice, and then we're just going to fry these up. And this will be mixed into a rice. So, roughly diced our beans, and we're going to pop these into. We don't lose them all. <laughs> into the pan. Oh, where's it Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put right away. Uh oh. That was horrendous. <laughs> well, good. So, now we have this on, and this on, and that on. Things are in the oven. We're now moving on to the black beans. We're going to strain these, get these ready. Beautiful. Say it. Beautiful. <laughs> now, I, what I like to do is I like to add red pepper flakes, but that's you don't have to do that. I just like it spicy. You can add whatever you want. Yeah. Sriracha. Sriracha. 
more aminos. Mm. Gonna toast that other side up a little bit more. Beautiful. And then one minute I'll take these out, put the next slot in. Once tofu is done, you can just pop it straight into a meal prep container. But just don't cover any containers until everything has fully cooled off. That's right. Rice is done. Wow. Beautiful. Pop your rice, turn that off. Let it sit at the back. These beans are here, they're ready to rock and roll. We're going to add uh, aminos in there. No, fridge. Fridge. <laughs> Pop in some aminos. Probably like a quarter cup. This is in. Beautiful. Good. Oh. I like them just on the side of. Just crunchy, not completely done. Because you want to reheat it, when you go to reheat it, you don't want to be mush. No mush. No mush. Turn it off. And we're going to mix some rice in here, like half the rice in here. Alright. Mix that in there. Oh yeah, still going to add the peas in here too. Peas, how many? This many. Mm. Like half a bag. Good cup or so. Might a bit of salt pepper. Uh, add whatever spice you want here. I'll definitely add some uh, chilli. And I'm going to eat it. But that's that done. Tofu's over here cooking away nice. Mm-hmm. Give it a little flippy flip. Flippy flip. Yeah. And now we're gonna go over and prepare all the sides and stuff that are gonna go with the rice and beans. Okay, so I'm gonna dice up a tomato. Tomato. Tomato mate. Now right, everything for this is just gonna be raw. I'm not gonna cook any of the beans or the onion. I'm just gonna leave it as is because it doesn't matter if you're gonna have it hot or cold. Uh, you can totally eat it cold. Um, without cooking it because the beans are already cooked and the onion I kind of like the taste of the raw onion mm -hmm. But if you then if you go to go reheat it, then you can just mix it all together and reheat it. You know what I mean? Rice and beans cold is the best. Okay. I, I made day. rice and beans the other day in a 9 by 13 and Adam ate about half of the 9 by 13 for lunch the next day. That's right. I, was, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't hungry or anything. Nope, not at all. Look at this giant onion. It's like the biggest red onion ever. And we're totally gonna use all of this. No, just what? <laughs> just kidding. But I do love raw onion. Luckily, Adam's sense of smell is not that good. Why? Cause raw onion and garlic on my breath all the time. It would. <laughs> I can't smell a thing, honey. I know. I love it. I'm just gonna cut a slice off it. <laughs> That's what I don't want to eat. Now that is a nice fine dice. And raw onion and garlic is actually really good for you, right? Right. All vegetables are good for you. Especially raw though. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. Next batch. Next batch of tofu. Look at that guys, it's all coming together, hey? It's all coming hey. together. Hey. <laughs> hey. All the prep. Prep for days. Whoa, oh, holy, whoa, whoa. holy Moses. Very good. Last batch of tofu. And then we're about ready to put the whole thing up. I'm not mixing it all together. You know why? Making a nice thumbnail nice. So before you can mix it all together, I'm gonna lay out. Whoa, settle down, pal. What's going on over there? I'm gonna lay out all my containers and I'm gonna separate them into rice, like tomato, beans, onions, and make it look pretty. Um, but, and then and when you gotta eat it, of course, you can just shake it all together um, and eat it, right? Steamy. Eight rices. Now we're gonna go with the beanses. The beanses? Yeah, beanses, rices, and beanses. Wait, Don't forget the cilantro. The dead cilantro? I mean, I would totally use this, but Adam yelled at me that I, mean, I, can't, can, I, can, I, can. I can't use this. Can we go with tomatoes? Flip in the next batch. That's right. So, a little bit of onion going to go in here. A little bit of onion. Now, we're going to add some avocado to our things. Now, of course, if you're doing this at home, you don't have to cut them up on the day and leave them in the fridge for a couple of days because they might go brown. But we're just going to do it for the photo. So, you can just keep them whole, cut them up, and use them on the day. But I'm just going to cut these in half and put them into containers. Okay, so the rice and beans are done. I'm now going to serve up some of the, uh, the other rice and beans. <laughs> rice and green beans. Look at all this food! So, the tofu and the beans are done. I stretched that to make eight. We still have another eight servings of tofu, and we've got four minutes to go, so I'm just gonna rip that out of the oven now and um, see how we go. Clean up is like yeah, that pot good. and two pans. Two pots. And the colander, and that's it. Ooh. Beautiful. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. So you can give us a mix. Get in there, we'll take out the roll of roast. Just a mix, not a mixy mix. Just a mixy mix. And all the food is done, and it is 527, so one hour and seven minutes. And that was like slow for Adam. So that was slow, Adam, today. I was very slow today. So very you can slow, definitely Adam. do this in an hour. Hot. Adam loves the broccoli butts. So mm -hmm. funny. <laughs> Love them. 
Oh, cool. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. This trailer we're using for the spuds was like super overcrowded. Some of them aren't like completely done. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put these back in the oven for 15 minutes. I give them a mix. They're gonna get back in for 15 minutes. And then I'm just gonna clean the kitchen down and do the outro and everything like that. And they'll be done. Ooh. So what I'll do is I'll put the broccoli uh, in with the some of this. And then this is gonna be on its own as a side later in the week. So the potatoes are now done. We just cleaned up a bit and look at this. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Look at that. Perfect, guys. So much food. So much food. Some of the broccoli went in the tofu. Actually, all the broccoli went into the tofu. And some of the sweet potatoes went into the tofu over there. And then the rest of the sweet potato and chickpeas will just be its own meal. Yep. And that's it. Easy as that, guys. Hope you enjoyed my monster meal prep today. Make sure you send us pictures over Instagram if you do make them. Check out Life Sum and all the links below for everything we referenced in this video. And we'll catch you next week, guys. Bye. Namaste. Namaste.